What what are the problems with wind and solar? Okay, the biggest one is land use. Okay, even if if we were to replace all of our current energy by wind and solar, it would use a huge amount of land. However, we're going to need orders of magnitude more energy because we're electrifying everything. You know, our home heating, auto, our transportation, everything is being electrified. But also we need more electricity um, just for our human advancement, computerized this and robotic that and quantum, you know, blockchain, everything. We just need more and more electricity. And there's just no way that the land that we can devote that much land to wind and solar farms to produce that kind of electricity. That's just the land use issue. That's pretty simple. The more serious, there are two other serious ones, is that wind and solar is not dispatchable. You can't call it up on demand. Mm. You know, you, you get it when the wind is blowing. You don't get any energy when the wind isn't blowing. And so that's asynchronous. It's intermittent. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. But because it's so variable, it's, it's asynchronous, and this puts a big stress on the transmission grid, and it makes it much harder to keep the grid stable. So you get blackouts, power outages, all sorts of things. So it's increasing the instability of the grid. Even if you have a huge amount of wind and solar, your grid transmission is going to be unstable. And even with batteries, you know, batteries is still asynchronous. It doesn't really help. Um, hydropower, geothermal, fossil fuels, nuclear, those are all synchronous. They can keep a grid stable, but wind and solar, you know, can't. So we're just fooling ourselves to think that we can have these 100% wind and solar renewable energy um, systems. It's just not going to work. There's the land use, there's the intermittency, and then there's the asynchronous issue. These are, and a huge amount of materials are required Hmm. Have you ever seen on the highway when they're, they have these massive trucks with these big, you know, with the wind turbines and the poles and everything? Huge, absolutely huge. Hmm. Uh, there's some question, especially for the offshore wind, there's some question whether all the materials and the energy that goes into building one of those, whether all that energy will be recovered over the life cycle of that particular wind turbine. And there have been a lot of estimates that say no, you know, that we're actually putting ourselves into energy debt by building these offshore uh, wind turbines. So the construction of those is extremely complex. And the lifetime of the wind turbine isn't nearly as long as one is on land.